Katibu mkuu wa chama cha wafanyikazi Francis Atoli ametishia kujiondoa kwenye kamati ya bodi ya bima ya hospitali ya kitaifa ya NHIF. Atoli alikariri kuwa bodi hiyo haitaelekeza wajibu wake kwa uwazi. Samahani haitekelezi wajibu wake kwa uwazi na kutaja kuwa kuongeza kwa viwango vya bei ya bima hiyo haitakuwa suluhu kwa masuala yanayoathiri shirika hilo. We want those agencies that were appointed to investigate to come up with a report and tell Kenyans this is what happened at NHIF. And if these reports are not going to, are not forthcoming, I was appointed on that board. I will resign. Ndiyo ilikuwa kauli ya katibu mkuu wa koto Francis Atoli. Haya ya kioni mapendekezo kuhusu matatizo ya bima ya afya taifa NHIF eliozidi kupingwa na washikadao mbalimbali nchini huku katibu mkuu wa muungano huo akitishia kujiondoa kutoka kwenye bodi ya NHF iliyozuiliwa mwishoni mwa mwezi wa Septemba Atoli anadai kuwa waziri wa huduma za matibabu Profesa Anyang Nyongo amedinda kushauriana na wafanyakazi kuhusu viwango hivyo vipya vinavyokusudiwa kutozwa wafanyakazi wa humu nchini aidha anasema kuwa bodi hiyo mpya NHF haitekelezi wajibu wake kwa uwazi na uwajibikaji In my own estimation, the Kenyan government has more or less reached a plateau today of budgetary allocation to healthcare. The Kenyan treasury has reached a plateau of allocating resources to the health sector. Why are they fond of some non-existing clinics and dispensaries, non-existing dispensaries and clinics? some manned by unscrupulous people kwa mujibu wa watu wa viwango hivyo vipya vitawakandamiza wa Kenya na kuomba kuongeza kwa malipo hayo hakutakuwa suluhu dhidi ya matatizo ya kifedha yanayokumba shirika la bima ya taifa ya NHIF they think we are fools do they think we are fools they think Kenyans are fools the time is coming We will show them. Hussein Mohamed, Kitchen Leo, Jumapili.